Now let's talk about your EP. First of all, I don't even think some people know what an EP is. We, we call it an album at, in my, my time. Um, but let's talk about that now and what your project is with your upcoming music. Sure, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, uh, the first recording I ever did professionally was analog on, on reel-to-reel tapes, two-inch tape. Uh, and I still have those somewhere. And it really, it's such a warm, beautiful sound. It really is just a different experience. But what you can do now digitally is just so incredible. There's just so much you can do much more easily, quickly. So it's it's kind of worth the trade-off, I think, creatively. But um, so back in the days of actual albums of records that were played on a record player, you had an LP, which was long playing record which had usually five or six songs on one side of the record and then five or six songs on the other. Uh, and then you had a single, which was one song on one side of the record and usually a, what was called a B-side. And then you had what was called an EP, which was an extended play, which was maybe three songs on one side, three songs on the other, or three songs on one side, two on the other, however they did it. So it's not quite an LP, not quite the big full record, and it's more than a single, but somewhere in the middle. So an EP in this case for me is five songs uh, that I've been working on for over a year now with this incredibly talented producer in Nashville who's just one of my favorite people too. He's from North Carolina originally where I'm from and he's just a great guy. He's, uh, he tours with a, a country artist named Brantley Gilbert who's very well known. Uh, he's his guitar player um, and he was in a Christian band for many years called Pillar that's very well known in the Christian music community. It makes sense that the, the producer I'm currently working with would be the most talented I've ever, I've ever worked with. Of course, it's gonna be that way, right? But he really is an absolute virtuoso. So it's such a pleasure to watch him work because he understands hit music so well. And he just brings so much creativity to the table so quickly that, you, that I'll come to him with a basic song idea and he'll just immediately start creating on it and start building out and arrange it. What do you think of that? How about that? How about that? And the ideas are just coming so quickly. Wow. And none of them are bad. You know, it's such an embarrassment of riches creatively where you're just, all of it is so good. You're probably at that point where you're, you're afraid to name drop because everyone's going to want them. And then when you need him, he's going to be too busy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, he's already crazy busy all the time and in huge demand. And I, I would love nothing better. In fact, there's an artist uh, named Kane Brown, who's also very popular in the country world. And he's done some crossover things too. And his first EP that he ever made real professional EP was with this producer friend of mine. His name's Noah Henson is his name. If people want to look him up, uh, is he's got these huge long dreads. He looks like the most intimidating guy and he is the sweetest human being you will ever be. Wow. And, um, and he did that EP with Kane Brown. That's really what put him on the map. And I think they sold over a million with no label at the time, which was incredible. I could be wrong about that, but I know it did very well. Yeah, it did that well. Yeah. 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 So incredible. Yeah, he's a crazy talented guy. So if people want to find this, how do they find it? When is it out? Is it out? I mean, we're mixing the last three songs now. So we're sort of putting the finishing touches, adding some instrumentation here and there. First two songs are actually up on my website already. So it's willcbrook.com. It's Will with one L. It's been that way since fourth grade. There were several of us in the, in the, in the class with the same name. So we all had to choose something. So I chose the one L will. So the one L will. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a great idea, but uh, I end up having to tell that story a lot. So willseabrook.com, uh, and you can you can stream the two songs. And I think if you if you'll give me your email address, you can download the MP3s and have them. It's time to take a back home. We were going going we don't know. And we were going back home. Leave it all in the dust. I know you got the feeling. And you know when this is needed 